Justice, you know. Thank you. Um, well, like uh, my comrade says, there is a lot of my fellow MPs at the moment that are waiting to get into the debate. And in fact, we've had some pretty lively debates since I've become an MP in May. Um, one of them was uh, regarding the NHS, etc. And I've never seen them put a four minute rule mm. on speaker time. That tells you how many people are trying to get into this debate. Um, I did a couple of interventions earlier. I was getting really irate with them. And I think Alan Johnson also did a fantastic job of putting the case forward for the trade unions. I mean, let's not make any bones about it. This is not just about trade unions and the attacks on trade unions, but this is an attack on human rights and civil liberties. And I think we've got to get that message across. This isn't just about union members versus non-union members. This is a much broader debate about what country we live in and our right to freedoms to associate, which come from the Human Rights Act. And this government is no friend of the Human Rights Act and are acting in an absolute appalling way, which some of their own Tories who have, who have got some brains will see that actually this will eventually erode everybody's rights, not just the rights of people that they're trying to attack at the moment with these ideological attacks. Now, I come from this with personal experience. I see some of my colleagues from Unison are here today. I was a Unison regional convener for the North West and represented 200,000 public sector workers. And I come from that, from an elected position, from being a home help. I started my days as a home help after I was a single mum at 16 and I went into being a home carer. I've got no formal qualification, I didn't go to university. But I'll tell you what university I did go to and that was the trade union movement because they took me in and they taught me what my rights were. And if it wasn't for the trade union movement, I can promise you that I wouldn't be stood in front of you today making the debates and making the arguments that I make today. And that's how important, how fundamental I think the trade union movement is. I also want to pay tribute to the Bakers Union because you know what? What was it we were talking about not so long ago? Zero hour contracts, <laughs> employment rights, that David and Goliath fight that that trade union fought for. I was absolutely mesmerised as a trade union official to see what they did. They, were, they, were, they stood up when they thought they weren't going to get anywhere. And I'll tell you another thing, my comrade Jeremy Corbyn did exactly the same recently. And he's shown you that people do care. As my colleague said, if, if Jeremy Corbyn is sending us back to the 1980s, well, half a million people being involved in our selection process and people wanting to get involved in politics, we were told tonight 28,000 people have joined the Labour Party since Jeremy Corbyn was elected. So if that's a rubbish and a downtrodden movement, I don't know. what is outdated, the Tory toffs on the other benches that can't even be bothered to listen to the debate or come into the room because they'll just be whipped in at the last minute and they won't even get what they're trying to vote on. Solidarity to you today, thank you for listening to me and letting me speak in front of you and well done for fighting this bill and I promise you with every inch and grain that I've got that I will continue to fight for you and fight for your rights and your liberties, so thank you.